In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Welcome to the, the, the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. To prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily these sacred mysteries, we first pause for a while, we call to mind our unworthiness. We ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess yes, to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. John. I rejoiced greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, let us love one another. For this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one and the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we work for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart, I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Please stand. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building on the day when Lot left Sodom. Fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night, there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, We're Lord. He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po mulising lahat at welcome dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, may dalawang pangalan ang nabanggit ng ating Panginoong Sesus sa kanyang pagpapangaral sa kanyang mga lagad. At kung pinakinggan yung mabuti ang ating Ibanghelyo, siguro naalala nyo pa yung dalawang pangalang nabanggit. Ang unang pangalan ay ang pangalan ni Noah at ang pangalawang pangalan ay ang pangalan ni Lot. Nais nice kong banggitin yung bahagi na ibanggit sa ating ebanghelyo, no? Ang sabi dito, as it was days in the days at is, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the son of man. Similarly, no? As it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, so it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. Sa mga nagbabasa ng Biblia, at siguro marami din sa inyo, no, sa inyong pakikinig sa mga biblical stories, marahil familiar kung sino si Noah at kung sino si Lot. Si Noah ay may kaugnayan sa arka na ipinagawa ng Diyos sa kanya, at yung arka ay siyang naging vessel no? kung saan yung mga taong pumasok doon matapos na magawa yung arka, nagkaroon ng matinding pagbaha at yung mga binahanga ay no? na-destroy, namatay si Noah at yung mga pinapasok niyang mga iba pang tao at mga animals ay naging ligtas. So ito ay may kaugnayan sa kasaysayan ng kaligtasan kaligtasan na isinagawa ng Diyos para sa mga taong tapat sa Kanya. At isa nga sa mga taong tapat sa Diyos ay si Noah. At sino yung mga hindi naging ligtas? Yung ayaw maniwala na magkaroon ng matinding pagbaha, no? ayaw baguhin ang kanilang buhay, hindi nagkaroon ng conversion sa pamamagitan ng pag-anyaya ni Noah na magbalik loob at paparusahan ng Diyos ang daigdig sapagkat naging masama na ang maraming tao. No? Ten generations after Adam and Eve were created by God, naging masamang-masama ang tao at nais ng Diyos na linisin ang mundo at isa sa mga pamamaraan ay ang pag- no? uh, yung punishment by flood, great flooding. At si Noah, na nakita ng Diyos na may katapatan, katuwiran, 
isang tao na malapit sa kanyang inutusan na gumawa ng arka. At sino naman si Lot? Si Lot naman ay pamangkin ni Abraham. Si Abraham siguro familiar sa inyo. At inilahad ng Diyos ang kanyang plano na ang bayan ng Sodom at Gumura ay gibain, i-destroy. Alam ni Abraham na ang kanyang pamangkin ay nanirahan malapit doon sa Sodom at nakipag-bargain si Abraham. Sabi niya, Panginoon, kung may mga taong at least 50 people na nanirahan doon ay matuwid, no? maaari po bang huwag niyong wasakin ang Sodom at Gomorrah? Kasi nga nakita na ng Diyos na muli ang tao matapos na binigyan ng panibagong chances na ayusin ang buhay, bumabalik at bumabalik sa dating bisyo. Sa pagkabayulente, no? sa pagkasinungaling, matinding kasinungalingan, sa corruption. Kaya sabi ng Diyos kay Abraham, okay, kung may makita akong 50 na mga katao na matutuwid sa bayan ng Sodom at Gumora, hindi ko itutuloy ang plano na pugsain ito. Nakibag-bargain ulit si Abraham. Paano, Panginoon, kung may 45 na lang, no? 45 na lang. Pwede bang huwag mong uh, pugs, uh, i-destroy ang Sodom at Gumora? Sabi ng Panginoon, sige, kung may apat na pung lima katao na makita doon na matutuwid, hindi ko i-destroy ang mga bayang ito. Hanggang yung negotiation, dumating hanggang sa sampu na lang. Kasi nga, sa dami ng masasamang tao, sa lugar na yun, kukunti lang ang makitino. E kung hindi nakita ng Diyos na may mga 20 katao, itutuloy niya no? ang paglipol, ang pagdestroy. Pero sa kasamaang palad, kukunti lang. At isa sa mga nakita nga ng Panginoon na matinong tao na namuhay sa bandang Sodom ay si Lot. At nung sinimula na ng Diyos na magpaulan, ng apoy para masunog ang bayan ng asupre, ng sulfur, no? dilan na ng dalawang anghel, si Lot at sa kanyang kanyang pamilya palabas ng Sodom para sa kanilang kaligtasan. At yung instruction nga na walang isa sa kanila na kapag umalis na sa Sodom at Gomorrah ay lumingon pa, no? lumingon pabalik. Eh yung asawa ni Lot sa kanilang pag-escape doon sa Sodom at Gumura, lumingon. Kaya naging asin siya, no? yung haliging asin, pillar of salt. Yun ang kanyang naging punishment. Hindi siya naging tapat doon sa uh, kasunduan na ililigtas ko kayo, huwag kayong lumingon. Huwag niyo nang kayong lumingon sa dati niyo pang buhay. Ang inyong paglalakbay ay paglalakbay tungo sa kaligtasan. At ang sabi sa ating Panginoon, so it be, at the revelation of the Son of Man. Ano ba yung Son of Man? Ito yung titulo ng ating Panginoon na uh, ibinigay niya sa sarili niya na ang ibig sabihin, yung Son of Man ay yung uh, isang darating na huhukom. No? Uh, huhukom sa, huling, sa wakas ng panahon. The coming again of the Son of Man is the coming of a judge who will separate the sheep no, from the goats. So yun ang maging papel ng Son of Man. Sa kanyang muling pagdating, ang mga tao daw, kagaya sa panahon ni Noah at ni Lot, will keep on drinking, eating, no, uh, sa kanilang former ways of life. Unfortunately, Kung nagiging matigas pa rin ang ulo ng tao, sila yung mapapahamak kapag dumating na ang Son of Man, maglalabas ng kanyang hukom, ang ang mapipinsala gaya sa nung kapanahonan ni Noah at Lot ay yung mga living in violence, living in sin, living in their former ways of life. Sa November 27, magsisimula ang Advent, yun naman ang wakas ng ating liturgical calendar. Sa pagwawakas ng kalendaryo ng simbahan sa November 26, no? paalala sa atin itong mga susunod na araw hanggang sa November 26. 
ang paanyaya na may katapusan ng ating buhay. Ibig sabihin, there will come no, a judgment for all of us. At hinahanda tayo lagi sa simbahan. At kagaya ng papel ni Noah at ni Lot, ang simbahan ay nagpapaalala sa atin. Ayaw ng Diyos na mapinsala tayong lahat. There is still time for conversion. To live yung life na hindi na gusto na makita ng Diyos sa atin. So kung ang buhay natin ay buhay no, na puno ng bisyo, ito yung time na simula natin baguhin. Sapagkat pag nadatnan tayo ng pagdating ng Son of Man, kung kailan yon hindi natin alam na tayo ay namumuhay pa rin sa kasalanan. No? There will be a corresponding punishment for that. Kahit na sabihin natin na mapagpatawad ang Diyos, that the Lord is giving us always second chances, that the Lord is compassionate and merciful, kung sa kalooban natin matigas pa rin ang ating puso at ang ating mga isipan, at sinasabi natin, ah, matagal pa naman siguro darating ang Diyos, then that would be our downfall. May kaligtasan at ang panawagan sa atin, maging ligtas paghandaan natin ang ating kaligtasan. At we will not blame God kung sa kanyang pagdating, the Son of Man, ay eh mapahamak tayo sapagkat despite the warnings kung kagaya tayo sa mga tao during the time of Noah and Lot na mumuhay sa bisyo at kasalanan, no? yan ang maging dahilan ng ating pagbagsak at ng ating no, uh, pagkawala ng ating uh, kaligtasan. So in this mass, we pray, Lord, that as we end no, our liturgical year, two weeks from now, help us to welcome the Advent na mamuhay ng panibagong buhay. So that sa darating na Christmas, yung Advent, paghanda ng Christmas, there will be forgiveness, there will be unity, no? there will be uh, caring and loving in the family, And our love, our care, our compassion, our renewal, our transformation, they will be means for our salvation. Kindly stand now and we present to the Lord our petitions and needs. At the end of time, God will send His angels to gather His chosen ones in His kingdom. As we pray for all human needs, we ask God that we may be found ready to face Him on His return. Let our response be, Lord, let Your mercy be on us. Lord, let Your mercy be on us, that the Church may attract peoples and nations towards the way of salvation by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let mer mercy be on us, that Christian believers may proclaim their faith in eternal life and realize the everlasting dimension of our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us. That we may prepare ourselves for the coming of the kingdom by constantly living in truth, honesty, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us. That victims of oppression and abuses may find true healing and that they may finally attain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us. That the dead may rise to the glory of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us. We include in our prayers the intentions of this Mass, and also we lift to the Lord our own personal and particular intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us. Lord God, we do not know the hour of your coming, but we are certain that your love will never fail us. Keep us vigilant in hope, and may we, may we welcome you now in our hearts. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of your earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of Saint Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Martin of Tours, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, Tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by the sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yung mga gusto pong magpa-bless ng mga religious articles, pumunta po tayo. At sa upuan na lang po daw na muna kayo, na lang po daw kayo, tum uh, tumayo na lang po kayo dyan sa upuan, upuan ninyo. At, uh, kami na lang po ang magbabasbas. 
in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lead us to our way to 